Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain this uh, pharma system designer uh, opportunity we have at uh, Deep Thought. So there's a pharma company, which is a client of Deep Thought for the last three years. So this company is a 32 year old company it was started by a NASA scientist. And it, this company used to be a 45 crore turnover company in 2022 and has grown quite quickly to a 100 crore turnover company by 2025 and has plans to grow into a, a 700 crore turnover company by 2030. So the CEO of the company uh, has this thought process that I don't need several years of experience for somebody to become a leader within my organization. I'd like to have young people who will come in and bring changes into the company. So with this thought process, the company brought in a lot of young people through the Deep Thought Fellowship. One of them happens to be a 19 year old who's working as a chief of staff in the Vizag unit. And he's brought in new systems, which has reduced the turnaround time from pharma industry of three days to one day by implementing new uh, AI uh, systems. So now we're looking to hire one more youngster who will coordinate between the production and R&D teams in the Hyderabad facility in GD Metla. So uh, as a part of recruitment for this role, we have an assignment which will give you a feel of what you would do if you are, you know, hired uh, for this particular role. So I will walk you through this uh, assignment. So this is the assignment uh, you were, you know, given. So there's a situation given to you that is uh, in the facility, there are different batches going on. So uh, in pharma, right, uh, there is a concept called campaign based manufacturing. That is as a campaign, you manufacture one thing, then again, you manufacture one thing and so on. So you've been given uh, the situation key. There are three, uh, you know, three products that are being manufactured and a uh, total of nine batches that are being, uh, you know, done. And you've been given the explanation of what are the problems. One is, uh, you know, production and R&D are having coordination issues, right? So due to the coordination issues, uh, you know, the production is getting delayed and everybody is not having one dashboard where they're able to track everything. And in the last minute, people are coming and saying there's a problem. And, uh, and when batches are delayed, it's not even clear key who delayed the batch. So again, probably because of the lack of the dashboard. So your job is to build a system as a solution uh, to this problem. And your system consists of five components. First is you not know, define a process flow. I mean, it's perfectly okay if you don't understand pharma or chemistry, you can actually take help of AI to get knowledge around this. So initially R and D will give the uh, procedure, then production will follow the procedure. After that, QC quality control will test and see if things are, you know, okay. And then they will, you know, send it out, uh, you know, for dispatch, right? So initially you define the process flow and who's responsible for each step. Again, we're not expecting you to give the most perfect answer. We just want to see uh, your comprehension, you know, how quickly you're able to learn about it online and, you know, document it. Next, you'd also define the meeting cadence, right? When, not, when should they meet? Uh, and what do they discuss in that meeting so that these problems are rectified and then you'd make a tracking template so that in the meetings people can you know discuss based on this tracking template and in case and you can define an escalation process again you can take help of AI to define an escalation process that is if something goes wrong what what uh, how would you go and report it right uh, of course See, if it's a huge problem, highest level of escalation would be the CEO of the company. So again, you can take help of AI to define this escalation process. And last part is adoption plan. How will you ensure that people, you know, all the departments in the company actually use it? How will you explain to them so they see value in it? Now to submit this assignment, it has three parts. One is the proposal. So this is the structure of the proposal where you would explain the current situation, what insights you got. And all the five elements that I just described, those elements can come in and, uh, you know, you can give it in this format, right? System name, what the system does, how it works and the value the client is going to get. So next, uh, the part B of the assignment is you make a pitch, right? So this is like a voice note to be sent to the production and R and D heads. 
uh, explaining how your solution can actually make a difference uh, to them, right? How it can help the company in producing uh, the batches on time. And please don't use AI for this. You can use AI for part A, but please don't use AI for part B and part C. Part C is a voice note where you tell us how you went about this whole thing. Even though you didn't have knowledge of, uh, you know, these uh, concepts, you used AI to solve this problem. So how you used AI to solve this problem is what you can explain to us in this uh, voice note. And this is the evaluation criteria, you can go through it. Uh, and we also have a detailed job description about what this role is about. As I mentioned, this is like a leadership role. We're looking for a youngster who doesn't want a routine job, who wants to do something important, preferably somebody who wants to be an entrepreneur in the future. If you want to start your own company in the future, I think this opportunity is best suited for somebody like you because you will get an opportunity to work in different departments and get a 360 degree understanding of how the company works. So Deep Thought does not hire people for entry level fresher roles. We hire youngsters. Uh, so think of it this way, right? An IAS officer is also a fresher. And uh, normal, our IT company people are also freshers. But what is the difference? An IAS officer, even on day one, starts off uh, with something, you know, impactful. So likewise, a DT fellow uh, goes into the client environment, solves problems, brings the 360 degree holistic view uh, while solving those problems and shoulders the responsibility of the senior management, uh, you know, in expansion of the company. So once you're done with the assignment, you can use this Google form and you can submit the assignment. Once you submit the assignment within 48 hours, we will get in touch with you and uh, conduct your interview to discuss the further steps with you. So you may complete this assignment within 24 hours of uh, receiving it. Uh, we intend to close this uh, vacancy within a week's time of you know recording this uh, video. So we hope that you enjoy this assignment. And uh, should you have any questions on intern Shala, feel free to send them in the, uh, you know, chat window. We'd be happy to take your uh, questions. So, yeah. So as I mentioned, uh, you're encouraged to use AI for part A, not for part B, part C. And in part A, wherever you're using AI, it's important that you understand what you're uh, talking about, right? If you're just copy pasting something from AI, you don't completely understand, then uh, that assignment is of... Uh, no use and it's important and AI can hallucinate okay AI can give you things which make no sense it may sound nice but it may not make sense so it's important for you to read word by word what AI is giving debate it uh, that is actually the right usage of AI so we hope that you do this assignment the right way and uh, hoping to interact with you soon wishing you all the best